Welcome back to Kavita Ravindranath's account is easy. I hope you have watched my earlier two videos on cash flow statement. If not, the link is given in the description box. Please do watch them first and then come to this third video. This video will be doing uh, one more thing related to, you know, uh, operating and investing both. It is basically a sum on investing activities, but you will also get to know how to find out connected figures which will be useful in operating activities as well, right? So we are taking this uh, question number 28 of DK Goyal. To find out investing activities, please have a look at the sum and we'll be making a ledger, ledger accounts related to various assets that will be useful for you to solve the sum. So let's get started. Okay. So the sum says, from the following information, calculate cash flow, cash flow from investing activities. We have already discussed what are investing activities. Investments in uh, fixed assets or long-term investments. Okay, so that amount that you spent, meaning for purchase of assets, that's outflow of cash. And if you sell off a fixed asset or investments, that is inflow of cash. So that is what we are dealing in investing activities. Of course, related income from investments is also a part of cash inflow from investing activities. Alright. So this sum says plant and machinery. Now see you can see 31st December, 31st March 2017 figures are given and 31st March 2018 figures are also given. So opening balance means 17 figures are opening figures, 12 lakhs. Plant and machinery was 12 lakhs in the beginning of the year and end of the year we can see it is 15 lakhs of course increased. Plant and machinery is an asset which usually is depreciated. So depreciate nahi hua hai, rather the amount has increased. Obviously we would have purchased it right. Now in case there is no other information given here of course I would have thought we 3 lakhs ka purchase hua hai, right. We have purchased machinery worth 3 lakhs we would have assumed that. But there are additional information given here. First one says depreciation charge on plant and machinery was 72,000. Meaning the plant and machinery account should have gone down in the balance by 72,000. It did not go down. Plant and machinery with a book value of 1,20,000 was sold also for 75,000. So there have been quite a few activities in the plant and machinery account. So whenever you have a sum like this, kindly open the ledger account plant and machinery account and then we will see what all things will come in picture okay first i'm going to do what is given in this sum i will also tell you what other things can come in this you know type of sum all right so opening balance as you know all assets have a debit balance to balance brought down this will be the opening balance which is 12 lakhs Bring down the opening balance. Closing balance. Leave a few lines here for the other entries to come here. Say, a leave a four, four lines. Leave four lines. Buy, balance, carry down. Why am I writing here? Obviously, assets will have a closing balance on this side because debits are more than credits. So, here you have 15 lakhs. This is 31st March, 18 figure. I hope this is clear. These two things will have this fixed place. Opening balance yahi par aega, closing balance yahi par aega, without exception, okay. Then, coming to depreciation. When we depreciate any asset, it's credited by depreciation. This is depreciation for this year. This was 72,000. 72,000. Again, depreciation has to come on the credit side. Next, plant and machinery with a book value of 1,20,000 was sold for 75,000. So you understand this thing very clearly. Book value was 1,20,000. Sale value is 75. You are selling it at a lesser value than the book value. So you are making a loss of 45,000. Subtract this. This is loss on sale. Alright. 120 book value minus the same value 75,000 will give me 45,000. Yeah, you also get. 
when we record the sale, how do we record it? Obviously, credit what goes out, asset, we will credit buy back. This is the sale value. Please understand. Sale proceeds, whatever we have got. 75,000. And you will write by loss on sale of asset, 45,000. So you are seeing that the entire book value of 120,000 is written off. Alright, so whenever we sell the asset, please credit the sale proceeds and the loss. Clear? That also done. And nothing else is given regarding the plant and machinery account. So now if I tell you that if these were the only transactions, then my credit should have been equal to the debit side because balance brought down the hair, balance carried down the hair. But I see that this side is much more than the debits. So obviously there is a figure that is missing here. And my objective of making this account is to find this missing figure. Let us see. This is 15 lakhs. This is 1 lakh 20 thousand. 16 lakh 20 thousand plus 72. So 16 lakh 92 thousand is the total here. If I am not mistaken. 16, 20, 20 and 92. Correct. Now I would have definitely have a balance of 4 lakh 92 thousand here. If I have to have this total on this side also. This is the missing figure because 12 lakhs here per hai. 16 lakh 92 thousand minus 12 lakhs is 4 lakh 92 thousand. That is falling short on the debit side. So what is this for? When do we when do we debit an asset account? When we purchase, isn't it? Increase kabo by asset account whenever we purchase. Then definitely it means that this is the value of machinery purchased during the year. So this is bank account. This is for purchase of plant and machinery. This is the balancing figure. So I've got this, my objective is done, I've closed the account and this is your working related to the asset. I hope this is clear. Hmm? Now coming to it, in case, see in this sum or say any other sum, ya to loss hoga sale pe ya profit hoga. Loss hoga to idhar hai. If there is a profit on sale, it will come on this side. Okay? Bank, of course, I will uh, put the sale proceeds, whatever I am getting. Here I will put two profit on sale and the amount of profit. That is one possibility of difference, variety here. And the other thing is, you have been given here depreciation, you have been given these two, you are finding this. Ab kisi you are giving opening and closing balance, that is given in the balance sheet. Okay? You might be given the purchase, you might be given depreciation. You might be asked to find this. Okay. Or you might be given the sale and purchase. You will have to find that decision. You will have to know that these are the things that usually appear in the ledger account of the asset. But Joe missing here find karna hai. Clear? Again, if you made this, you should also know what amounts will go to the cash flow statement here. Now please understand this clearly. Opening and closing balance will find no place in the balance sheet of the company. Okay? Here, sorry, sorry, the balance sheet in the cash flow statement. These two will not have any place in the cash flow statement of the company. Okay? Because this is not cash flow and inflow and outflow. Kya hai inflow and outflow? Bank. Okay? Bank, whenever I'm crediting, it is out for purchase value. So this will go to investing activities as outflow minus. Again, bank is coming here. So this 75,000 will also go to investing activities. Inflow, when I'm selling asset, as I inflow. These two amounts have gone to investing activities. Of course, you should also know that this opening this account is also important for making operating activities. Operating activities where there is one item in the segment adjustment for non-cash non-operating items, loss on sale of fixed assets, depreciation on fixed assets. These two figures will go to 
that part of operating activities. So this is going to go to operating activities. This is going to go to operating activities. Both under add back in that section which is for adjustment for non-cash and non-operating items. Clear? These two figures are not going at all. Now we are in the cash flow statement here. So it is important how to make this account and then from here which amounts to take to the cash flow statement. This is done with plant and machinery. Then we have investments, long term investments, of course. Opening balance 1 lakh 50 and closing balance 4 lakh 20. Let us see how to make this up. Of course, balance drawdown down will be here 1 lakh 50,000 opening balance there. And buy balance carried down 4 lakh 20,000. Alright, the same as we did there. Uh, additional information says investments were purchased. Point number three. Investments were purchased for three lakhs. Straight away. Purchase what? Investments were there. Bam. Three lakhs. And some investments, not all, some investments were sold at a loss of 10,000. That is not given here. And that is why I am making the account here to find out how much is the investment sold. If the loss is here, then you have to write by loss on sale of investment 10,000. Okay. So now everything is done. Opening, closing, balance, and purchase figure. Obviously, there is no depreciation on investments, right? So, whatever is the balancing figure this side, see this side it is coming to. 4,50,000 and the other side it's coming only to 4,30,000 so isko 4,50,000 karne ke liye to close my account I will have to put 20,000 here correct so if I put 20 I will put bam here this is the sale of investment I have sold investments at 20,000 loss of 10,000. Okay, so this is 4,50 minus this and this 4,20, 4,30. So it's 20,000 in the credit side. So this is how we find out the profit or loss on other sale proceeds. Same thing we have done. Okay, now this will go to investing activities, bank here. Okay, investing activities. This also will go to investing activities. Where will loss on sale of investments go? Operating activities. Very good. Of course, you know opening and closing balance will find no place in the cash flow statement. Yeah. So, here we go. Investments are come down. Plant and machinery are come down. Land is, it is given at cost. Take care. Opening balance is 5 lakhs. Closing balance is 4 lakhs. So land has reduced by 1 lakh I am seeing. Adjustment 4 says land was sold at a profit of 80,000. See this is cost. Now here if you want again you can make a land account also. Okay, In the same manner as we have made the plant and investments account. But do we actually need it? No. Because you have to be simple here. 1 lakh reduction ho hai, balance of land. That means we could have definitely sold land costing 1 lakh. And I have sold at a profit of 80. Cost plus profit is the sale proceeds. 1 lakh plus 80,000. 1 lakh 80,000 is the sale proceeds from land. If you want this. Okay. So land sold at cost is 1 lakh. Itna to mila hai plus profit of 80,000. So the sale proceeds is 180,000. This will obviously be shown in investing activities. Okay. Sale of land in flow of cash. So this is all about all the adjustments and the balances given here. From this, we will make the cash flow from investing activities. Alright. 
So I hope everything here is absolutely clear. Now, what have I done? From the ledger account, I have taken all relevant account amounts that I have marked that it will go to investing activities. Okay, all the calculations. Now you just see, we write the cash flow from investing activities. We have purchase of plant. Please refer to the ledger account that you made. Please copy down, keep that in a notebook so that you have it for your reference. 4,92,000. Why have I put it in the bracket? Because it shows outflow of cash. Negative, right? Yeah? So, outflow should be put in brackets. 4,92,000 gone. The purchase of plant. And when I sold the plant at 75, cash has come in. In flow. No brackets. Similarly, purchase of investments was given 3 lakhs in bracket. Sale of investment we found out 20,000. The sale proceeds, what we have got. Okay, Here, the losses will not come into picture. All right. Interest on investment is given in the adjustments we see. Interest on investment doesn't go to investment account. Okay, Investments were made regarding the purchase and sale of investment, the cost, at cost and profit are not related to that. Interest Interest is just a nominal thing, right? So interest on investments, we have received 15,000 in flow. Sale of land, we found out 180 in flow. So if we see, total it up, the net cash is coming as a negative figure. Because negative outflow is more than inflow. Therefore, we write cash used in investing activities. We are using 5,2,000 cash in the investing activities of the company. Okay. So I hope you found it very easy. Here you are the investing activities. Alright. What have we taken? Purchase and sale of assets and the income related to these you know investments and all. Uh, what are the interest uh, on investment, dividend, received investment, rent from property. Hmm? If you have if you have a property that's also an investment for you. You have put it on rent so rent me any parai. So all things are the related things coming to investing activities. I hope you have found this video meaningful, useful and if yes, please don't forget to press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, share it with your friends as much as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.